Yo, what's going on guys? Elysium here today, and in today's video, we are going to be evolving our Izo Fusion to Izo Final. He already has his 15,000 kills. He's over the limit. He's at 100% worthiness, which is great because we have S plus and an SS stat, which means we can hopefully get our first ever triple S stat, which would be amazing. And in case you guys aren't sure how to evolve your Izo, first, you have to craft the special evolution item which is the box I will show it to you real fast it's pretty expensive to craft being I believe eight of each colored starfruit and 30 of the normal ones let's find it yes the negation box it is eight of each colored starfruit three rainbow fruits and 30 regular starfruits so it is very expensive, but it's also worth it. Because after you do that, you have to then do the legend stages of the Hollow World in here. Uh, Hollow Invasion. And then the final one, it'll give you your imperfect soul orb. And then every time you do it, you'll get worthy souls. I've done this 40 times already, as well as sacrifice several mythics, and I'm still not done. Um, whenever you're in this dimension here, you talk to Aizen, and pretty much every soul orb is worth half of an awakening percentage, and every mythic is worth 12 and a half of an awakening percentage. And what you do is to evolve him first, after you do to evolve for the second evolution, it'll cost you, I believe, 32% uh, awakening, and then that resets your progress. And then the second evolution is 67.5, or 62.5 actually, sorry. And then the final evolution is 100%. So I'm almost there. I'm at 91.5. So I will cut back to you guys once I have my last, I believe, 20 soul orbs. That'll give me my final 10%. So I will see you guys then. All right, y'all. So we just got the last needed worthy souls. We are at 19. We only needed 9 more percent before we can evolve our Aizen. So let's go ahead and get to 100. There we go, 9.5% awakening. We're at 101. Fuse. Oh, I gotta... I don't have to unequip them. Never mind, I do. Go ahead and unequip our Aizen. Let's go ahead and fuse him. And there we go, Izo final. Fully evolved Aizen, and we get some stat cubes. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some better stat traits as well. I don't even know what he's actually going to be at here. I already know he had some SS stats prior to our Evo. So let's see. SS, B+, plus, B+, plus, B+, plus, B+, plus, B+. Plus. Man, that's crazy. I don't want to do a reroll all because I want to keep this SS range and an S+, plus for SPA. So I'm going to leave him like this for now. But... There he is, Izo Final, fully evolved. We now have a fully evolved team, which is amazing. I also hit level 50 while I was grinding for the rest of them, so I can equip everybody all at once. Next thing I do want to do is I want to go ahead and, and show you guys Aizen's damage and everything that he does throughout all of his levels. He is quite expensive to level up, so I will see you guys once we're in Planet Namek. All right, everybody, we are back here in Planet Namek, getting ready to level up our Aizen, and we have our base Aizen placed. He does 3,041 damage, 7.3 uh, second SPA, and 22 range, so really good, and his AoE is massive off of placement. I mean, look at that. That is great. At upgrade 2... Our ISO goes up to 6,759 damage, a 7.3 second SPA, and 24 range. Now at upgrade 2, our Aizen goes up to 10,139 damage, a 7.3 second SPA, and 25.2 range. At upgrade 3, he gains a new move, goes up to 25 range, has a 6.8 second SPA and goes up to 14,871 damage. At upgrade 4, 
Aizen goes up to 17,575 damage, 6.3 second SPA, and 26.3 range. At upgrade 5, Aizen goes up to 22,307 damage, has a 6.3 second SPA, and 26.3 range. At upgrade 6, Aizen gains a new move called Soul Orb Will, and his damage jumps all the way up to 3,799 damage. He goes to an 11.8 second SPA and 27.4 range, and he turns into a full AoE unit, as you can see here. At upgrade 7, Aizen does 43,938 damage, has a 10.9 second SPA, and goes up to 28 range. Now we have enough for upgrade 8. Aizen goes to 50,698 damage, goes all the way down to a 10 second SPA, and goes up to 28.5 range. And he remains full AoE as well. Here we have Aizen's upgrade 9. He gains a new move called Ultra Fregor, and goes from 50,000 to 101,000 damage. He has a 15 second SPA and a 29.6 range. I also believe at this move he becomes hybrid, which means he can attack both ground and air units. Upgrade 10, Aizen goes to 118,296 damage, a 14.5 second SPA, and 30.7 range. Look at the coverage on this. That is insane. That covers so much. Aizen is such a strong unit. Although he is extremely difficult to evolve all the way up to this point, it is well worth it in my opinion. He's also extremely strong for my team because all of my units are physical damage, although Usopp is true damage, but Fujitora, Tengen, and Luffy are all physical, so it's nice to have uh, magic damage on my team. Of Aizen's upgrade 11, he jumps to 135,196 damage, a 14 second SPA, and 31.8 range so his range just keeps going up now we have the final upgrade for aizen upgrade 12 for 30,000 yen we go up to 162,000 damage 235 13.6 spa and 33 range this is within the spa is with s plus stats and the range is because i have ss range so I can only imagine how much damage he would have if I had triple S range, triple S damage, triple S SPA, and if he was even max level. He's only level 83. So he'll gain another about 60,000 damage here at this final upgrade once I have him at level 100. Because a level 100 Aizen does 220,897 damage. Overall, Aizen's final evolution aka Izo final is an extremely strong unit especially probably one of the best magic units in the game and if you have some good stats on him he just gets better and better but I would definitely suggest grinding for him right now he is actually on the banner but this is being recorded at about 1 p.m. so it'll definitely be changed by the time this video is out however if you can try and get Aizen he's so worth it He's an extremely strong unit and does so much AoE damage. So best of luck to you all who go and summon for him. That's all I have for you guys today, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.